Colonis. And it's all over. Maguire. Oh, he's got it! Hello there, you're very welcome indeed to the draw for the Extra.ie FAI Men's Cup second round. It's a, a draw that's taking place at the FAI HQ at Abbottstown after a dramatic first round in the end with the cup holder St. Patrick's Athletic going out in dramatic fashion against Waterford at Inchicore over the weekend. And then another team who had great success in Europe during the week, Sligo Rovers, uh, going out to uh, Wexford FC in extra time up at the showgrounds. Another really dramatic finish to that game. So two shocks there. Some of the other big guns have made it through, though. 16 teams in the draw for this second round. To conduct the draw, I'm joined by Alan Keane and Declan Fabio O'Brien, two men who've had success in the FAI Cup. Alan, three times. You got greedy there. 11, what was it? Uh, 10, 11 and 13 yeah, it's, in four years. I suppose we just got a. Uh, we had a good side back then. We got a bit lucky, and it's like anything. It, uh, I think the FAA Cup in 2010 was what really kick-started us uh, down in Sligo for uh, a couple of years. You know, it brought success, and I'm sure it'll do the same to any other clubs yeah. that that go on and win it. And especially, it's great for the the non-league sides as well. It's it's a great occasion. So yeah, it's, it's always great. The draw for, yeah. to, for today. And you were kind of lucky in a way because you just got in at the start of the Aviva era, where the cup final suddenly became this amazing. Occasion. Yeah, I think with the first cup final we got beaten in Tala in 2009 and then the first one in the Viva is obviously against Shamrock Rovers which was a massive occasion and um, it was one that will always live in, the, in my memory like you know the atmosphere just walking out into your national stadium and the crowd like it was 36,000 yeah. but it was great to see it being beaten last year by uh, you know Bowes and St. Yeah, yeah. Fabio going back to 05 when you won it with Strada and actually you've won the cup uh, in Malta as well. That's with, right uh, yeah. Valletta. You yeah. won it up north with Lentor and so mm. you've had success um, in other cup competitions as well but that game in 05 against Cork I mean do you still have vivid memories of that? I do yeah I think Cork were well fancied under under Damien Richardson at the time they were going for the double so they were expected they were the favourites and I think we just caught them cold on the day and it sort of pulled it on the map I found under Paul Dool and you know we went on to win back to back Satantas after that as well and, and in the league uh, you know the year after that as well so we had a, a nice five years alright but uh, yeah. the cup as Al said there's a, there's a lot to it there's luck there's a look of the draw, there's, there's, you know, who can handle the pressure, you know, it's just a day out, you know, so I think it's one that we'd always remember with the family and friends can come to, and I think um, great memories yet to have uh, the Cup days. Special time for these players now who are going to be uh, in the draw, well, the teams and the players who are in the draw for this uh, second round. As I said, uh, Alan, he's going to be drawing out the home teams. But uh, before we do that, let's have a look at the results from the weekend, because uh, we were talking about the shocks there. On the Friday night, I suppose, Alan, when you look at those scores there, you would have expected the likes of Shamrock Rovers, Dundalk, probably um, Shelburne, Drogheda to go through. Yeah, look, there was no really shock, only for, I suppose, you look at, uh, is it... Um Waterford beating St. Pat's last year's beaten finalists, you know, yeah. that's a massive shock a along big. with yeah. what happened in the showgrounds on Sunday. So, look, uh, there, look it's, it's, um, it was, I suppose it's disappointing for them teams, but it's yeah. great for the Wexford and Waterford. You know, the first division teams got, yeah. got no chance, and then they come along and turn the two I top mean, in fairness on. to you, I think it's, you called that Wexford one before. You said they had a serious chance. Yeah, I was just talking to Fabio on Saturday, and there was like any, any other shocks over the weekend. I just felt that European hangover uh, would affect Sligo Rovers, and they did make a couple of changes, which, but saying that they should still have enough to win the game, and Look at fair juice to Wexford. It's that's what the cup's about. It's yeah, always yeah. it's always good to have a shock here and there. Yeah, great result for Waterford as well to to go to the holders and beat them. Fantastic. And Waterford are a very exciting team. You know they've been in great form in the fourth division. You know scoring plenty of goals. I think Phoenix Patterson, Junior Quatrina, yeah. really top top yeah. players. You know so it was a shock, but they're scoring goals for fun. So it was a surprise to see them put it up to Pats. But I, I certainly thought Pats with the Maybe maybe the European hangover, as Alan mentioned, plays a huge uh, mm -hmm. huge part. You know, squad rotation, fatigue, everything uh, plays into account there. So, 
Bows were the only team to win an all Premier Division uh, match with that win up against uh, Finn Harps at uh, Bally Buffet. So Bows are top of the list there. The, the teams are numbered, but actually when they come out of the draw, the name is going to be on the um, on the card. Um, Alan will be drawing the home. As we see there, there's four non-league teams: Bonagui United, uh, Lucan United, Malahide United, and Minuth University Town. Seven teams remain from the Premier Division and five from the uh, First Division as well. So the draw sees those 16 teams in the cup. And Alan, you're going to draw out the home teams. Fabio, you're going to give those balls a good old swish around before we conduct the draw. So Alan and Reiner is going to draw out the home teams. Fabio, the away teams. So the first name out of that of the 16. Bonaghy United. It is non-league Bonaghy United from Donegal. So they're going to be at home after their uh, very good success over the weekend, beating Pike Rovers by six goals to nil. So Bonaghy United are rewarded with another home tie. Remember, if another non-league team comes out here, we're going to have a non-league team in the quarterfinals, but let's see who this is. It's Shelburne, Shelburne FC. Sorry, Fabio. Shelburne FC. So another away match for uh, Shelburne, who came through with that uh, good 3-0 win away to Bray Wanderers in the previous round. Sean Boyd getting a couple of goals there. So Bonaghy United versus Shelburne, the first game of the eight games to be drawn. Lucan United FC. So it's another non-league team and another home match. And Lucan United, who were 3 0 winners against Colester Donny Carney in the first round. And they have a home game. Bohemians. Ooh. So Bohemians with another away match, but they don't have to travel as far this time. Just down the road to take on Lucan United. Well, there might be a possibility that that game might be uh, switched to daily mount as well, we'll see. But um, two non-league teams out of the hat so far already and both with home draws. Draw the United. Draw the United. Winners in 2005, as I was saying, with Fabio in the team. So a home draw for them. Dean Williams actually scored twice for them at the weekend against Athlone in that 5-1 win. So draw that. <laughs> Shamrock Rovers. At home to Shamrock Rovers. And that's an interesting one because Drogheda knocked Shamrock Rovers out of the cup just a, a couple of years ago. And they have already beaten the hoops at Head in the Game Park this season in the league. So that's a very, very interesting tie. Obviously an all Premier Division tie as well. Derry City. So Derry City, who were uh, big winners in the uh, first round over the weekend with that uh, success against Oliver Bond, Celtic 7-0 winners, uh, Declan Glass getting a hat-trick. So Derry, a home match for them. Cork City. Ooh, and that's an interesting one as well. It's a long journey north for Cork City, who've been in excellent form. Of course, they beat Cove Ramblers with that Rory Keating goal in the first round. But that could be a tasty one too. So halfway through the draw at this point. Galway United. Galway United, who had that great win against Bluebell, 7-0, record win for a first division side. They're at home. UCD. And it's Galway against UCD. UCD who came through with that 3-0 uh, win against Cockhill Celtic in the first round. Winners of the Cup in uh, 84. UCD against Galway United, who uh, won the Cup back in 91. Both of them beat Shamrock Rovers in the final. Newt University Town. So it's another non-league team, and it's another home game for Minute University Town. Minute. Treaty United. And they will take on Treaty United of the First Division. 
um, Treaty who had uh, a 5-0 win against Usher Celtic in the last round. So more non-league opposition for Treaty, but this time they're away. Wexford FC. So it's a home game for Wexford FC. That's their reward for that uh, victory against Sligo Rovers in extra time. Ger Short's uh, winner for them there with a couple of minutes to go. Dundalk. Oh, it's another tough test for Wexford as they take on Dundalk, 12 times winners of the cup. And of course, uh, most recently in uh, 2020 for Dundalk. So just two left to go. The last home game, the last home team. Malahide United. Now, would you believe it? It's another home game for the non league teams. Malahide United are going to be at home. Waterford. And it's Waterford FC. So that is Waterford's reward for coming through in their game against St. Pat's Waterford, who last won the cup in 1980. So thanks a million, guys. Um, we'll recap those uh, ties then. Bonaghy United versus Shelburne. Lucan United against Bohemians. Drogheda United against Shamrock Rovers. Derry City, Cork City. Galway versus UCD. Maynooth University Town versus Treaty United. Wexford against Dundalk. And Malahide United against Waterford FC. Fabio. Um, if you're to assess that draw there, is there, I suppose, well, Drogheda United, given that you're a former Drogheda United man against Shamrock Road, the only all Premier uh, Division tie in that second round. Mm. Home draw, so, you know, it's, it's a difficult one, though. You know, they're the team to be for everybody. You know, Shamrock Rovers, the squad that they have, they've proven over the last couple of seasons, so they won't be too happy with me in Drogheda tonight, I don't think. <laughs> but um, I like to look at Derry Cork. I think that'd be a very good game. I think Cork will put it up to any Premier mm -hmm. Division team at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think that'd be an exciting tie. And uh, I think Wexford, again, they're a you know, surprise team. So, they, you know, Dundalk will be wary of them now. Um, who I fancy, I think Shells have a sneaky suspicion this year. I think they'll go well in the Cup. So, uh, We'll see what happens with the early days. What about you, Alan? Yeah, look, you, you look there, it's five of the, the Premier uh, Division sides away from home, so any team that's playing them at home will always give it a chance. But yeah, Drogheda and Shamrock Rovers is a standout one, um, and Derry City and Cork City. But apart from the other ones, you know, Go United will fancy their chances against UCD, and uh, Lucan United and Bowes is a great wee draw for, for Lucan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all the um, non league teams actually there will be delighted with those uh, home draws, I'm sure. Um, all right, well, look, in the first round, 16 matches, 68 goals. It was a record goal scoring tally for that first round with a, an average of over four goals a game. The previous best for a, a, a round of 16 games was 64 goals, so it was well better than that. So if we can keep that going in the second round, I think we'll be doing okay. Um, just one final word from the two lads. Um, am I kind of getting a feeling that Shelburne are your outside tip for the, the yeah, cup overall? I'd just like to look at them this, uh, this season, Con. I think they've, you know, a real drive about them, a real enthusiasm, you know, they're into the Premier League again, Premier Division again, and they're, you know, under Damien Duff, obviously, mm. whose pedigree is, you know, unquestioned, and I think... Um, I like to look at Sean Boyd as well. I think mm. he's, you know, one of the best strikers yeah. of the league this season for me, yeah. you know, standout player. And I just have a you know, feeling that they go well in these games, one-off games, and um, it'd be great to see them get to a final, I think, this season. And Alan, you were very good with your predictions now with the Wexford win and stuff, so overall, if, if there's one team that stands out for you? or Well, I, 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 one team, you know, Shamrock Rovers would be favourites, but I think Derry City will do well this year, I think, in the Cup, and uh, Stephen O'Donnell up in Dundalk will, will fancy his chances as well. Um, you know, I think both of them sides will, will be... Um, We'll have a massive say in it, I think. Yeah, well, just looking at the way the ties have been drawn here, I think the last eight is going to be really interesting as well. But these um, second round ties in the Extra.ie FAI Cup will be played the weekend of the 28th of August. Uh, obviously, the fixtures will be finalised uh, in between now and then, but uh, the 28th of August is the weekend for those games. So thanks a million to Alan and to Fabio for uh, doing the draw. I hope, you, uh, hope your team got the draw that they were looking for and we look forward to those games in the Extra.ie FAI Cup second round, weekend of the 28th of August. From all of us here at FAI HQ, it's bye-bye for now. It's Colonis.
McGuire. Oh, he's got it! Thank you.